few words on that wonderful day of uh, prosperity, on that wonderful day of redemption. In that day, the name of Hashem going to be one, and He Himself will be one. And that is a concept that must be explored and reviewed and investigated till it will be understandable. Isn't Hashem one also today? How can it be that He will be one in that day? In that day we will have the ability to grasp that everything that is around us and within us is one, is one of the great unity, is oneness. Because today our mind is so limited into constrictions and into the dividings that we're experiencing, but in the future to come, all those walls of separation, all the obstacles will be removed from us. So in the future to come, all the walls of separation will just fall apart and won't be here anymore. And we will be able to experience all infinity at once as the Creator Himself. We will experience in an eternal way all the spiritual and physical existence, the things that we're experiencing on a daily basis. We will just experience them all together in oneness at one time. The best ones, the ones that we wish to experience in all their aspects, in all their ways, in all the possibilities. And it means that we will be able to search and to look deep into any aspect of creation that our heart will desire. If you will want to look and see and learn and understand the secret of the sea, the secret of the sand, of the sky, stars moving in their trails, you will be able to do so. And it won't take your mind or your attention from all the rest of the things, from your loved ones, from your great salvation, from your home, from your future, from the happiness of all your surroundings, all those things will take place at once. We will see together all the times of all the moments and the redemption will take place in all those moments that ever existed before. And it won't be only of the Jewish people or the tribes of Israel. It will be of all human beings, of all the souls that ever came out from Adam and Eve, from Adam and Chava. All of them, in all the moments of their existence that ever took place in the past, taking place in the present, and as well of the future. All those times of all the children that were ever created, and also all the creations all the animals, the trees, the grass, the stones, the mountains, the sky, the clouds, throughout all the generations, all human beings, all of the ones that are holding spiritual sparks of life within them, and especially the soul of Adam and Eve, that was divided in many dividings in the world. The story of them all, their unity, their real legacy, their real <clears throat> this is another part that Shalev will be able to add. After I say their legacy, I think we can say, st stop. Like their legacy. The real true explanation of what that really happened since the moment of creation that went through on all human beings, on all creations of the world, the real true explanation of what that really happened to them will be known to all, means that in that time there are going to be an aspect of trial. In every person, every creation, in any moment that ever took place in time, will stand to trial. And if, if you will be found, if they will be found worthy for redemption, they will experience it in its grace. Every moment will have that potential to grow and to be redeemed. And the ones who made 
as many good things and were worthy for redemption just by being innocent and good will enjoy eternal redemption in all those moments, in all those worlds. And we will all stand together as one, united. We will know each other. We will see each other in one sight. We will all be united and we will all know each other. We shall all experience eternity in the same present time, in all the times, in all the places that our souls ever traveled in, or to all those places that our minds will fly to search, to observe, to look, to, to comprehend, to figure out, to learn about, to enjoy the grace and glory of our Maker. And we will experience the redemption with all those ones that we desire to be with them and to experience the redemption with them in their sight. And we should remember that because those ones that we do not want to see won't be there. They won't stand there. And that is the revenge that will take place as well. Everyone that destinate himself to darkness will be gone and we won't see him. We won't look back to see how they all disappeared and went away because of their crimes, before, because of their crimes, because of their sins, because that they did not took it seriously to correct and work on themselves to improve. And they went away from our path and we are continuing towards our days of glory, time of eternal growth, great prosperity, happiness, no darkness, no sorrow, no pain, just pure redemption with all our loved ones, eternal one, and greater than we can imagine. Amen. Freedom Through Faith